Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back. Today we're going to be delving into content marketing. Content strategy is at the heart of SEO. It results in inbound links, social signals, and brand trust, and it provides fuel to search engines in the form of organized, informative material. But how do you know where to start? How do you create and publish content that will result in positive ROI? To start, you need to have a good understanding of who your target market is what they like, and what they tend to share. This will give you the insight you need to create the most effective and engaging content. Begin by taking some time to look at what's working for your, com- for your competitors. Take note of what your customers and target audience tend to share. What gets the most tweets, likes, and shares within your industry? Is it breaking news, how-to guides, industry expertise, or simple little tips? Now that your website is set up and you're publishing amazing content, it's time to start using it to generate more business. This is called content marketing. Content marketing accomplishes several things. First, it attracts inbound links to your website, which strengthens your domain authority and improves your search engine rankings. It also adds to the wealth of content on your website, effectively dropping another hook in the water every time you publish a new page of content which increases the likelihood of being found by potential customers in the search engines. It also establishes your brand as a thought leader and industry authority, building trust with your readers and resulting in an increased conversion rates, leads, and sales. Every link pointing to your website does more than just improve your search engine rankings. They can also become a free long-term passive source of highly targeted referral traffic which is the best kind. Before you can get started with content marketing, you need a plan. And before you can create a plan, you need to understand your audience. Here are a few things that you can ask yourself when you're beginning your content marketing strategy. First, do you have true thought leaders that have original insights or opinions? Do you have unique research on new industry trends you can share? Do you have services or products unique to your industry? Who are you trying to reach through content marketing? And what challenges are they trying to overcome? The next thing you're going to want to consider when you get started with content marketing is your frequency and volume. How dedicated are you going to be to content marketing? Some companies prefer to do a few in-depth industry leading white papers each year and focus all their efforts on them. Other companies will choose an ongoing flow of consistent content marketing in the form of videos, blog posts, infographics, and more. The more the merrier, so long as the quality of the content doesn't suffer. You're also going to want to consider your capabilities. If you're going to focus on white papers, articles, blog posts, and other types of content that are text-based, you'll need a strong writer on your team with subject material expertise. If you'd like to focus your efforts on videos, do you have professional recording equipment or someone who can create professional animations? If not, please realize that subpar content will do you no good. In fact, it will reflect poorly on your company and potentially cause harm to your brand and conversion rates. There are three C's of content marketing to keep in mind. Creativity, consistency, and capturing. Creativity, create content that's unique and memorable, and you'll receive more recognition. Be creative and leave room for flexibility. You never know when something might come up in the news that you could put a spin on or a new trend might emerge. One of my favorite ways to be creative is to tie in popular holiday themes with content when those holidays are near. Consistency. If you want your content marketing strategy to yield maximum benefit, it's important to be consistent. Whether you maintain four blog posts per month or four blog posts per week, stay consistent so customers and followers learn what they can expect. And last, capturing. I'm not sure why this term has been coined. It would make more sense to call it optimization, 
but capturing simply refers to measuring and understanding information with regard to how well your content is performing. Measuring allows you to track which efforts tend to drive the most traffic and attract the most interest, leads, and sales. As you start to narrow down the best performing content types, then you'll know where to focus for future content to achieve the best ROI. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.